lucky number on there, Spot. The number two. Spot, you're ready for the big race. <laughs> what race? Hey, wait a minute. What race? What race? What race? Huh. Only race. about the biggest oh. pig race of all time. The pork steaks. <sighs> and it's about to begin in my trash can. Okay, Spot. Pop to your feet. Pop into this trash can. Come on. Ah, what a great jump. Ah, clever pig. Ah, they're at the starting gate. A pig race. This I gotta see. Oh, be my guest. Are uh, they lining up? Are you ready? Oh! Oscar! They're running in mud! Well, of course they are. It's a pig race. Okay, run, Spot, run. Oh, look at them going around. Look at them going. Look at them. Oh, they're heading for the finish. And they're going. And then they go. They're heading down to the finish. They're getting toward the finish line. Look, one of them's coming way ahead. He's coming down to the finish line. And there he is. We have a winner by a snow. Hey. How do you know it's a winner? How do you know who's the winner? They're all covered with mud. Yeah, well, okay. Well, we'll just show you. Let's get the winning pig up here. Jump. <laughs> It's the number two. Hey, that Spot, my pig won. Hey, you did great, Spot. And David, you didn't do too bad either. Hey, 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 yourself. I love summer showers. I love pretty flowers. But most of all, I love mud for hours. I love, love, love being a pig. I love how mud feels. I love how mud sounds. I love mud on the ground. I love, love, love being a pig. I love mud on my tail. I love mud on my snout. I love mud all about. I love, love, love being a pig. I love to feel the sunshine. I love mud all the time. And I love being a swine. <coughs> a pig. I L O V E. I love being a pig. Take you now to Kermit the Frog for another fast-breaking news story. Does anybody have the time? Oh, <clears throat> oh hi-ho there, uh, clock lovers. This is Kermit the Frog here for Sesame Street News. And today we're about to witness that amazing feat made famous in the old nursery rhyme, Hickory Dickory Dock. Uh, if you recall that nursery rhyme which went, Hickory Dickory Dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck one, the mouse ran down Hickory Dickory Dock. You remember that thing? Okay, well, standing next to me, you will notice that we have here a clock. And according to the clock, it is nearly one o'clock. Now, what will happen next is that a mouse will enter, and he will run up the clock, and the clock will strike one, and the mouse will run down. You got that? Okay, send in the mouse. Uh, oh, wait a minute, you're not a mouse. Uh, you're a cow. Oh, that's right. I'm a cow. And I'm much too big to climb up that clock. No one asked you to climb up that clock. Yes, well, I just came around to see what time it was. It's uh, nearly one o'clock. Yes, it's nearly one o'clock. Yes, it's time for the mouse. Well, it's time for me to give milk. I well, see. I must be getting back to the barn. Sure. Ta. Uh, ta, mm -hmm. right, of course. Uh, uh, pardon that interruption there, uh, folks, but as soon as the mouse arrives... Uh, uh, just a second, this is a duck. Hello, frog. Uh, hello there. Just show me the clock and tell me what to do. Well, what you can do is get out of here because I'm waiting for the mouse to come and run up the clock here. Are you sure you wouldn't like a hickory dickory duck? <laughs> quack, 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 quack. Oh, boy. Well, uh, hang in there, timepiece fans, because just in a moment, the mouse will indeed come in and uh, 
What is this? Out of my way, frog. I'm going to run up that clock of yours. Uh, you can't run up the clock. You're a horse. I know I'm a horse. The mouse couldn't make it. Yeah, but you can't Stand do that. Stand back. Uh, Gong ho. Oh, no. run up, uh, make that through. The horse has just run through the clock, and the clock has struck about 17. This is some of the frog signing off. How come I always get these nursery rhyme things? The guy can just go this way. I'm getting out of here. Look. It's a bird. It's a plane. Now, it's a cat. like a submarine. Wow, it's Submarine Man. Gee, what a weird bird. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 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 Two turtles. One, two. Two heads. One, two. Two hats. One, two. Two butterflies. One, two. Two, two chocolate cream pies. <laughs> Go ahead. Now. Now. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Don't dance. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Slower. L, M, what? I said slower. L, M, N, O, P. Not that slow. Q, R, S, T, U, V. That's nice. that time. Now, just in between the slow one and the fast one, and I think we've got it, child. Boo! Away from... Hi there! This is Harvey Knee Slapper, your man on the street, and there's a man on the street, sir. Sir, uh, yes, excuse yes, me, sir. I'd like to ask you a question or two. Uh, certainly. Do monsters attack you on the street? Do monsters attack you? The answer, I believe, is uh, <clears throat> yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> and do crowds of people trample you underfoot? <laughs> <laughs> All the time. But what's a fellow to do? Simple, my friend. If you've got problems like those, you ought to get... Away from them. Away from? Right, yes. If you are not near something, then you are away from it. Now, right now, you are near me. 
yes. Now you are away from me. <laughs> away from you. Yes. Yeah, I, I see, but how can away from help me with my problem? Easy. The next time a monster attacks you, <laughs> get away from him. <laughs> like this? Very good. Now come back to, to me, near me. <laughs> Uh, yes, okay. Good. Now, the next time a crowd starts to trample you underfoot, get away from them. Oh, uh, like this? Very good. Now, come back near to me. Gosh, it works. Yes, you have discovered the magic of away from. <laughs> Yes, never again will you suffer all those problems like crowds and monsters and all like that. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, you know what? What? I think I'm going to get away from you, too. Boy, where is that Snuffleupagus? He's really late. We were gonna go jogging. Wait, I hear him. Oh, there you are. Uh, hello, Bird. Um, All set to go jogging? Well, Bird, I was, but on the way over, my running shoe came untied. And if I try to go jogging now, I might trip and fall. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, oh, I have a great idea. You won't believe this. This is such a good idea, it'll save the day. Why don't you tie the shoe? Oh, huh? Huh? <laughs> good thinking, Bert. Yeah. But, oh, if I take the time to tie my shoe now, oh, it'll take so long, we won't have any time left to jog. Well, oh, oh gee. I do it myself, except I don't wear shoes, and so I've never learned how to tie shoes. Gee. Hey, Michelle, do you know how to tie shoes? Yeah. Oh, do you think you could tie Mr. Snufflepagus's shoe? Oh, sure, I would love to. Oh, wow. Look at that. Gee. Oh. Michelle, you make it look so easy. So fast. Look oh. at that, it was perfect. Look at How's that. How's that feel? It feels just right. Oh, thank you, Michelle. You're welcome. Oh, now we can all go jogging. Then let's go. Oh. Jog, 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 and jog, 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 jog. And go through the door. Here we go. Why don't we go that way? Jog, jog, jog. <laughs> Isn't this fun, Snuffy? 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 Wait a minute. Michelle, wait. Where's Snuffy? I don't know. I thought he was right with us. Better go back and see what happened. Snuffy, I thought you were going to come jogging with us. Yeah, uh, I'd love to, Bert, but uh, I think I'm stuck. It stuck? doesn't feel like I'm going to be able to go anywhere. Oh. Uh, well... I'll just stay here, Bird. You can jog right there, then, huh? right? Yeah. 
I'll just stay here and jog then. And we'll jog right here ourselves with you. We'll stay with you. Let's all jog. Good thinking, Bert. <laughs> V. This is a vase that I'll put in this vat, away from the villain in the Panama hat. I am the villain in the Panama hat, and I'm after that vase that's here in this vat. <laughs> I'll fill it with vinegar and throw in some varnish, and top that all off with some violet garnish. <laughs> And now I will slip it here under my vest. Oh, no, you don't, villain. You're under arrest. V. And now, here to sing and eat for you are those four fabulous bugs, the Beatles, and Cookie Monster! you down if you're dry toast or something wetter whenever we take you off of a plate we feel so great and me feel better 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 make a house for your dog, you can go ahead and build one, but it might not fit your dog. The best thing to do is use a ruler. With a ruler, you can measure your dog up and down and sideways. Then you can build a house to fit. Measure it up and down and measure it sideways. Then you have a perfect dog house, unless your dog walks on his hind legs. Hey, Melissa, me and Tisha are gonna have a bike parade. Ask your mom if you can come. And it's Saturday by the river. And bring a bike or a scooter, because we get to decorate them.
think I'm lost. I'm lost, I know it, I'm really lost. I don't like it here. I must really be lost good. Wow. How'd you get here? Oh, well, let's see. First I passed the street clock. Then I passed the plastic house. Then I passed the animal fountain. And then you came along. Can you help me get unlost? Well, you should figure it out for yourself, little guy. But I'll give you a hint. Oh, thank you. Try to remember everything you passed. But when you go back, make the first thing the last. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Try to remember everything I passed. But when I go back, make the first thing the last. I get it. I just go back past all those weird things again until I'm home. That's it. Behind your face, there is a place that's called your brain to your mind. If you just need to be inside, oh, what wonderful thing you find. Hi, Mom. Boy, was I lost. Come on, Buster. Now you sit back there, that's good. Now don't chew on your postry, all right? Okay. Where's Forgetful? He was right behind us. Oh dear, we've forgotten him. Oh, where is he? Oh, Forgetful, he does this every time, you know that? Well, let me see. Oh, oh there he dear, is. dear, dear, dear me, uh. In a minute, dear, in a minute. I'm trying to remember something. What in tarnation are you remembering now? What I'm doing here, for one thing. Now, let me see, let me see. Uh, whoop, ah, I got my suitcases here, so uh, I must be either going somewhere or coming back. Mm. Yeah, now come on, for Don't whoop. tell me, don't tell me, dear. I'm going to figure this one out myself. Now, uh, whoop, I got a ticket in my hand. So I must be going somewhere. Yeah, that's right. Uh, All dear. aboard! Oh, dear. I'm oh, dear. Uh, Forget books, Hold come on, as soon as I remember why I'm here. I, oh, I'm here at this train station, railroad station. You can see the railroad sign right there. So let Last me call. Now, uh, all aboard! Oh, put them all together. Let me get these all straight out now. If I'm at a railroad station with my bags yeah. and my ticket yeah. and I'm going somewhere, yeah. how am I going to get there? Forget oh, me. let me see now. Don't interrupt, darling. I got it now. That thing there is moving. It's got wheels and steam. It's a train. A tra I remember now. I'm here to take that train with Clementine and Buster to go to Dodge City. <laughs> I remembered, and they thought I wouldn't remember that one, did they? And they call me Forgetful Jones. Ah, uh, he <laughs> Wait a second, Train, wait for me. You forgot me, Train. Wait, wait. A girl named Violet put a V in the ground. Oh. And up grew a vine with V words all around. She stepped on vest and vote and vampire, then very and voice, going higher and higher. At the top, there was a railroad station. So she got on the train and took a vacation. Oh, hi. I was just taking a walk around the neighborhood to see the people who live here. Oh, who are the people in your neighborhood? In your neighborhood, in your neighborhood. Oh, who are the people in your neighborhood? The people that you meet each day. Oh, hi. Hello. You must be a photographer. You got the picture. Uh, is it hard to be a photographer? No, it's a snap. I just do this, and in a flash, you'll see what develops. Oh. My camera hangs upon the strap. I look through it and make it snap. Wait.
when you see the picture that I took, it will show you just the way you look. The photographer is the person in your neighborhood, in your neighborhood, in your neighborhood. The photographer is the person in your neighborhood, a person that you meet each day. Ah, you're a storekeeper, huh? Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. I'm the one in charge. Uh oh. How much is this donut? Ten cents. But I'm not charging you for the whole. We're having a wholesale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my store has many things to buy. From toothpaste to an apple pie. Of a paper or a red balloon. And if we're out, we'll get it soon. Oh, a storekeeper is a person in your neighborhood, in your neighborhood, in your neighborhood. And a photographer is a person in your neighborhood. They're the people that you meet when you're walking down the street. They're the people that you meet each day. W. Water. W. Who's that coming down the street in his big red truck? Who's gonna be the one to help you when you're out of luck? Fireman, he's ready to go. The fireman. <laughs> Archie's car leads the way, the hook and ladder follows, pumper truck throws the water. The fireman needs water in his hose to put out the fire. He needs to get water from the hydrant to put out the fire. Fireman, he's ready to go. head dry, raincoat to keep the water off the fireman, he's fighting the fire, the fireman. The fire is out, the fire is out.
That's what I call cooperation. Yeah. Hey. Scissors. Scissors. Glue. Glue. Well, time for our break. Uh. When it's time to relax, you'll always get. from the alphabet A, B, C, D E, L, G H, I, J, K L, M, N, O, P Q, R, S T, U, B W, X Y, Z That was refreshing Sure was Well, back to work Silly putty. Silly putty. When it's your time to relax, make it alphabet time. Oh, that tickles. <laughs> How many of you have ever been to the zoo? Me. Yeah? Me. Well, you know, not all the animals in the zoo, but most of them come from Africa. In the beginning, all those animals in Africa were all the same color. The giraffe, the zebra, the leopard, the elephant, the hippopotamus. All of them were just a great big brown, muddy gray. All one color. And they lived in harmony. They lived very well with each other. They enjoyed each other's company. All except for one animal, a hyena. He was a mess. He always provoked problems with the other animals. He was always teasing them. He was always being very cruel. And one day, Tortoise was walking through the woods, as Tortoise always did. And minding his own business, enjoying the trees and the flowers and things happening. And all of a sudden, out of the bushes jumped Hyena. And Hyena says, ah, uh -huh. where you think you're going, Tortoise? And Tortoise, who was very intimidated by Hyena, said, uh, well, no place in particular. He says, well, yeah, well, you're going nowhere. Because, and just then, Hyena pulled a, a big, long vine from a tree, tied Tortoise up by his hind legs, pulled him up in the tree, and left him there dangling. And for the longest time, nobody came along until finally the zebra came. The zebra looked up and saw Tortoise and said, Tortoise, what in the world are you doing up there? And Tortoise said, I am not here by choice, zebra. You know, I was walking along minding my own business when Hyena, using his usually nasty self to do nasty things, grabbed hold of me, tied me by my hind legs, pulled me up in the tree, and left me hanging here. Please, Zebra, will you cut me down? So Zebra said, sure, I'm very glad to. So Zebra let Tortoise down. Tortoise was very, very grateful. Tortoise said to Zebra, he said, Zebra, I don't know how to repay you. I wish there was really something I could do to, to express how, how much I appreciate what you've done for me. So Zebra said, well, what can, what can you do? You know, what, what do you like to do most? And Tortoise said, well, the only thing I really like to do is paint. That, does, that isn't much help. And Zebra said, yes, it is. Maybe you can paint me a little different color than the rest of the, the, rest of the guys in the jungle. So Tortoise said, okay. And then he said to Zebra, what would you like? And Zebra said, well, I think, I think I'd be cool. Give me, 
Give me some white stripes and give me some black stripes. That'll be enough. Just that much. So sure enough, Tortoise painted them beautiful white stripes, beautiful black stripes. And at the end, Z wrote it off feeling very proud, loving his new colors. As he was walking through Mandrill, now Mandrill is a monkey in Africa. Mandrill took a look at Zebra and he says, wow, where'd you get those hip colors? And uh, Zebra said, my friend Tortoise, look what he did for me. And Mandrill said, do you think you'd do that for me? He says, I don't know, go ask. So Mandrill hung his tail to the tree and began to swing from tree to tree until he discovered where Tortoise was, dropped down and said, Tortoise, I saw what you did for Zebra. What can you do for me? So Tortoise said, okay, I'll tell you what. I think I'll give you some light blue ridges on your cheeks. I think I'll give you a nice pink nose. And with that beard that you have there, I think I'll, I'll paint it golden. And for the rest of you, I think I'll give you a nice silver brown shimmering coat. And Mandrill said, that sounds great. Go ahead. So Tortoise did just that. And Tortoise stepped back and took a look at him. He was very pleased with what he had done. Off went our man. Swinging through the trees, feeling very happy. Watching this all along was uh, 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 tilapia. Now, tilapia is a fish that comes from Africa. And tilapia went up to Tortoise and said, Look, Tortoise, I, I've been watching what you did for zebra and what you did for mandrel. He said, Could you do the same for me? He said, Of course, I know it'll be more difficult because maybe my colors will come off in the water. So uh, Tortoise said, No, I have a special way to fix the colors so they don't come off in the water. So let me try. So he took the tilapia, the fish, in his fins, he painted a luminescent, a kind of a shiny turquoise blue with red stripes. And for his head and his body, he gave him a kind of a green, shiny color with black spots. And on the tail, he gave him some green with turquoise blue tips. And for the last, most brilliant stroke of all, Tortoise decided to give Tilapia red eyes. And Tilapia went off feeling great. Now, Hyena, who had been hiding in the bushes during all of this, leaped out to Tortoise and said, Uh-huh, somebody cut you down, huh? And Tortoise said, Oh, please, Hyena, don't start up with me again. And Hyena said, Don't tell me what to do. He said, I've been watching you, all those colors you put on all those other guys. He said, I want the same thing, but I want all the colors. And Tortoise looked at him, he says, You want all the colors? He said, all the colors that you gave them and any others you can think of. So Tortoise began to put together the blue, a little red, a little yellow, a little purple, a little green, a little white, and he just mixed it all together. And of course, I must tell you, if you don't know it, when you've mixed all those colors together, they come out looking terrible. They come out looking bleh, very muddy and not very attractive. And then Tortoise painted hyena this terrible ugly, muddy, gray, yuck color. And so today, if you go to Africa, as I have gone, to a place called Tanzania, where there's a big park for animals, you'll see all these animals with their beautiful colors that Tortoise had painted them. And the ugliest one you'll find there, who has this ugly, muddy, gray color, is hyena. And that's the story about how all the animals that you see in the zoo that are from Africa got their colors. How about that? That was good. Mm -hmm. That was great. It was great? That was good. All right. Hmm, what's missing? Is it a pig? No, it's not a pig. Is it a dog? No, it's not a dog. Is it a baby? Yes, a baby. Mountain goats, goats, camouflage. A frog lives in the rock. What is it? An orange. Hi. They're hiding. A white fish. Yeah. It lives in the sea anemones. It looks like the grass. And it's a fish. 
fishies. It looks like sand. A leopard. A prairie hog. It's the color of the dirt. Polar bear. He's white and the snow's white and it's hard to see him. buddy Grover hmm? and today I have climbed up here into the mountains where it is very high Ooh! Ooh! very high to show you what an echo is mm -hmm. yeah, an echo echo is the word the cute little word echo you see sometimes in these big mountains here you, you can shout things and hear the same thing repeated back at you a few seconds later believe me trust me I will show you mm. I will shout my name. Grover! Grover! How about that? Hmm? Did you hear the echo? I did too. Now I will count mm -hmm, slowly and listen to the numbers echo back. One! One! Two! Two! What a terrific little echo! This is so much fun. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Can you believe this? Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine. Ten. Ten. Oh, wasn't that wonderful? Oh, wasn't that wonderful? Uh, okay, that, that is enough. Uh, okay, that, that is enough. Uh, All right, uh, we've had our fun. All right. Hot, 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 
dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. Man, you said it. I am one hot dog. Hmm. Hot dog. All right, all right, all right, everybody, settle down. Come on now, now. Um, welcome to the weekly meeting of the National Association of W Lovers. We are gathered here today to pay tribute to that great letter W and the wondrous sound it makes. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, it makes the heart pound faster. All right, now, if you'll all turn to page four in the manual, we will sing the club song. All right, turn to page four. That's it. All right, now, everybody ready? Here we go. I'll begin. You can join in later. Here we go. Ah, oh, what is the ladder we love? What sound are we extra fond of? It's not any trouble, you know it's a W when you hear woo, 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 woo. Without this fine letter, you couldn't say wash or witch, wax, or wiggle. My gosh. <laughs> there wouldn't be wet, warm, or walrus. Oh, wow. There wouldn't be wood. Would there now? Uh uh. Without this great woo sound, well, wink would be ink. And weak would be eat, don't you see? Of course. A fine word like waffle would turn out just awful. Oh, double use grand as can be. All right, everybody. So what is the letter we love? The sound of your extra fond of. It's not any trouble, you know it's a double you when you hear whoop, 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 whoop. One more time. When you hear whoop, whoop. W. Huh. Why? Wall. Hmm? Hmm. Bird? Yes, Nuffy? Are you asleep? No. Are you? Me neither. Mm. I wonder what's wrong. It is our bedtime. I know. Maybe, maybe we need a story. Good thinking, Bert. Yeah, stories always help me go to sleep. Yeah, but who's going to tell it to us? Oh. oh, I know. Maybe Maria or Olivia. I'll see if they're around. Maria! Olivia! Oh. <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to do it ourselves. Mm -hmm. Say, I'll tell you one, and then you can tell me one, okay? Okay, Bert. Uh, I'm all ears. Okay. I'll make it up as I go along. Let's see. Uh, once upon a time, there were three eggs, and they lived in a nest. And then they hatched, and there were three little birds. And then they grew up and flew away and lived happily ever after the end. Yeah, it just works every time. He's asleep. But I'm still awake. Hmm. Snuffy! Hey, Snuffy! Hey, Snuffy, wake up. Huh? What? What, Bird? Well, it's your turn. Oh. Tell me a story. Uh, okay, Bird. Um, sure thing. Um, once upon a time, there were three snuffle uppaguses, uh, Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cotton Snuffle, and they lived in a cave uh, next to a cabbage farm, and one day they went out and ate one cabbage, and another cabbage, and another cabbage, 
and then the cabbages were all gone. And, and then they were all full anyway, and they lived happily ever after. The what? Bird is asleep. Yeah. But now oh, I'm still awake. Oh, uh, bird, uh, bird, wake up, bird. Uh, oh, oh, uh, what? I what? Need, I need another story, bird. Oh, you do. Okay. So once upon a time. There was a mama bird, and a papa bird, and a baby bird. Well, they got up one morning and decided that their porridge was too hot. This is too hot for me, said papa bird. And then the mama bird said, mine is just right. And the little bird went wee 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 all the way home. I wonder what flat means. It doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> what do you suppose let means? D I don't know, mate. I never heard of it. <laughs> help, help, help! Help, 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 help! Looks like they need some help. Right! Help, 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 help! help, help, help. <laughs> So they caught the big bad hawk, and little Robin Redbreast took her basket of bird seed and hopped home from Grandma's house and lived happily ever after the end. Oh, good, he's asleep. But I'm awake again. Oh, Snuffy, Snuffy, this isn't working. What? 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 Well, Snuffy, huh? when I tell you a story, you go to sleep. Yeah. And then when you tell me a story, I go to sleep. But one of us is always awake. Oh, Bird, we've got a problem. Mm. Hmm. Oh, boy, i got another great idea. What, Bird? Well, we could tell each other stories at the same time, and then we'll both fall asleep, right? Oh, what a mind. Good thinking, Bird. Uh, all ready when you are. Ready, set, 
go. Uh, once, once upon, upon a, time, a time, there was a uh, large there was American a eagle. Princess he lived at the top of the mountain. Who's fun and he looked down Sesame Street has been brought to you today by the letters V and W and by the number 2. Sesame Street is a production of Oh, the Children's Television Workshop. Good night. <laughs>